I'm Jared Minnick. I'm the director of the Sports Turf Institute here at Maryland Soccerplex. We have 24 fields in total, 12 of those being Bermuda grass, nine of those being cool season, and three of those being synthetic turf. Uh, there were really two reasons that we started looking into robotic technology for painting. One was just sheer overall efficiency. How do we do the most with the least? Uh, and then also just with the overall labor shortage that, that is happening with around the industry and essentially around business in, in general. We like to put a high level of preparation into every single week of the year, whether it's a recreational tournament or, or a MLS Next or, or professional level tournament. Previous to Turf Tank, we pull strings on every single line every single week. Now with Turf Tank, our preparation is so much easier. We go from having a crew of five people to just having two people painting with two different turf tanks. So we're able to be much, much more efficient and it allows us to do other things during preparation that we weren't able to do before. Throughout the year, we would average 53.5 labor hours per week for layout and painting of our fields around the park. Uh, now with Turf Tank, we average 16 hours a week, so it's a significant savings overall. We save about 1,600 to 1,700 hours a year just in preparation. Our paint quality, lines being straight, just the overall uh, impact of, of aesthetic, it's just so dramatically different with using the robot versus using uh, just people. As we became more reliant upon the first turf tank that we had, it became evident that one, from an insurance standpoint, we needed a second. We do have 24 fields to deal with on a single week, but also just from an efficiency standpoint, it caught us from 16, hour, 16 labor hours with one machine, we were able to cut it down to eight hours with two machines. During our lacrosse tournament season, uh, we have five weeks in a row that we have lacrosse tournaments. Typically we would have five or six people on our staff just laying out and painting lacrosse fields for three or four days in a week. Uh, we don't have to do that anymore. We have two people on two robots and we're able to get all of the other detail things done that we want to get done. It's a little bit addicting. Once we had one, it was like, okay, we definitely need a second to be able to make us that much better. And it has, it's paid off. Uh, it's paid dividends. There's no question about that. We can equate the 1,600 hours plus a year that we save with Turk Tank to, to be saving us somewhere in the, in the range of, of $35,000 to $40,000 in labor in, in a single season. Now, we also don't like to look at it as just savings because it's not that we're just saving money. We're able to reallocate that labor and put it on other detail things that we want to, we want to get done as well. Uh, Matt Liber, I'm the executive director of the Maryland Soccer Plex. When the idea of the turf tank was first proposed to me, you know, one of my questions is, is always cost. What's it going to cost us? What's the benefit? And when we sat down and, and looked at the numbers, it just made perfect sense. Um, I mean, we talk about savings from labor, we talk about savings from paint, and then we just talk about consistency and, and what it makes the, the facility look like by having such consistent lines put down where there's no no change in how dark it is on this field compared to that field, how straight the line is. It just makes it look like a professional atmosphere. Uh, the Maryland Soccer Plex has always been known as a, a leading edge facility where we're trying new methods, new, new materials, new products. Uh, so when we had the opportunity to try out a robot that paints lines, we said, yeah, this fits in our mission to, to be the best facility out there. We have to have the best technology. That gives us an opportunity not just to talk about the robot, but talk about everything we do here from a sustainability standpoint, from a technology standpoint, uh, from a staffing standpoint and growing our fan base of why people want to come here, even if they don't play sports. Our turf tanks do have names. Uh, na our, our staff has named them Wally and Eva, uh, and they are part of our staff. Uh, we recently took a staff photo, and a couple of our staff members felt like that they should be in our, in our photo with us. They really have become a big part of what we do on a daily and weekly basis. Because of that, of course, we're going to recommend them to anyone that's considering it. I do hear from time to time, oh, well, this could be replacing people's jobs or such. The people don't exist currently. Technology is, is an important part of making us better. Uh, same thing, I don't know of any sports facility in the entire country or in the entire world, in fact, that is, that's able to get every single thing done that they want to get done every single week. So it's about efficiency, it's not about replacing jobs. Uh, so we think it's really important and we think very highly of them. And there's no doubt that we'll continue to use this type of technology for a long time to come.